Computer parts and spaghetti sauce don't seem to have much in common. But on a recent day of tours, they served the same purpose for members of the House Legislative Manufacturing Caucus. The Blair County businesses of Reclamere and Del Grosso opened their doors to educate state lawmakers. Reclamere is a data security expert, and what we do is we work with regulated industries, specifically healthcare and financial services, and help them manage um, off network IT equipment, but more importantly, the certified destruction of digital data. Del Grosso Foods is America's oldest family owned producer of pasta sauce and uh, other Italian foods. And we've been around uh, manufacturing since 1947, and our tradition goes back to 1914 and my great grandmother. We own the property, so that's been a benefit to us. Reclamere um, President was... Joe Harford said although his workforce is small, he has trouble finding young talent because many graduates with computer and technology degrees tend to move out of state. They will package up the old equipment and it will be shipped here. He expressed um, the importance of lawmakers and businesses be, working the together on problems like this. Data. I think that the conversation is vital because in order for a legislator to understand what's going on in his or her district and what's impacting businesses, they're not going to be able to guess at it. They have to have that conversation. And I think business owners understand what their challenges are, whether it's talent acquisition, taxes, et cetera, and being able to then educate the legislators, help them when it comes to legislation they're going to develop, votes they're going to make or not make, et cetera. So building that sense of collaboration, I think is incredibly important. Del Grosso Foods employs 95 people and is the oldest major family-owned manufacturer of pasta sauce in the United States. Less processing keeps better fresh flavor. That's really a big difference in the tomatoes. Touring their facility provided awareness about topics like supply chain issues and food safety regulations. It's always important for our elected officials to understand the challenges we face, the workforce issues, and uh, just the general growth plans and, and progress that we've made. And uh, the more we can understand what they're thinking and the more they can understand what we're thinking and concerned about, the better we can partner together. We started a manufacturing caucus in the house to highlight businesses and industry and how we can help how we can help business and industry and um, get out of the way so they can be more um, profitable and hire more workers and help with communities. And really, you know, that's what makes the world go around and that's what it's about. So we came to um, these local businesses today to see what challenges they have and how we can better serve the business community. What we heard from the from the the owners and managers of those companies is uh, one simple message, and that is that Pennsylvania companies need a better way to compete uh, with their counterparts, both uh, both uh, nationally and in some cases internationally. And and they touched on some of the some of the subjects that we've heard from before, uh, which is uh, you know talent acquisition, uh, the ability to compete on a tax basis. Uh, having fair regulation, and, and it was really a, a worthwhile opportunity for us to, to visit these two businesses. The Manufacturing Caucus is planning additional tours in other areas of the state to continue the dialogue between state government and job creators.